Hello Ben, it's really good of you to uh, come in and do this interview for us, for our students. So Ben, would you like to introduce yourself and the current role you have? Yeah, of course. Firstly, absolute pleasure to be here. My name's Ben from Thompson and Terry Recruitment. We are an Abner-based sales and marketing recruitment agency. Um, our business is very much around the philosophy of focusing on the person as opposed to necessarily what they've done before, their experience. We are really in a stage of growth. Our business has grown from two to four in the last six months and looking to grow from four to six in the next six months. That's why I'm here today, to find a new applicant. Okay, so would you like to talk through with us the actual vacancy that you've actually got an offer? Because we'd be really interested in finding out more details about that. Yeah, of course. Um, as I alluded to before, our business is at a stage of growth. So what we're really looking for is firstly, almost aside from the job spec, somebody who is able to grow with our business, so somebody who's ambitious, somebody who wants a career as opposed to just a job, somebody who potentially is quite entrepreneurial. In terms of the vacancy and how we see this happening, I think that to be a real professional within any industry, you need to learn how to do everything within that industry and learn from the bottom as such. So we're looking to get somebody in as a trainee recruitment consultant or recruitment resourcer potentially to be able to help our business grow. How they would do that would be initially sourcing candidates, would be helping candidates with their CV, with interview tips, really finding out what are their motivators, what, what is it going to take in order to make them sit up in their seats and really be able to find a job that is right for them if that makes sense. In addition to that, we need somebody who is capable of doing the simple things right. So they need to be well presented. They need to be punctual. They need to be able to almost take a role and run with it. Does that make sense? It does. You've listed some of the skills there. So is there a particular type of person you're looking for? What type of personality should they have? Their qualities? Yeah, of course. Um, I think in terms of the type of person, I think what's most important to us is it's somebody who isn't just going to wait. We want somebody who is going to be coming and knocking on my door saying, I want a job, I want to be, I want to progress. So it needs to be somebody who's very, very ambitious and doesn't want to wait for this job to come to them, but come and get the job. But in addition to that, I think I'm well aware I was there once but it needs to be somebody who isn't going to be scared, somebody who is going to be able to pick up the phone to a candidate who may be at the beginning of their career, but also be capable of picking up the phone to a director at Google and say, we're from Thompson and Terry Recruitment, this is why you should use us as an agency. Aside from that confidence and that eagerness to learn, I think it's also important that they've got that level of qualification behind them. Despite I'm not necessarily a believer in it matters what you've got on paper, I think that with these great facilities you've got here at the college, the great lecturers you've got, I think it's very, very important that you take what you've got with two hands. So they've been given this environment to learn. And what I want to see, whether they get passes, merits or distinctions, actually they've gone in and they've given 110% because from my point of view as an employer, if I'm looking at somebody who says to me, okay, I got three passes, but I could have got three distinctions, I'm gonna say, why didn't you get three distinctions? Yes. But if I see somebody who's got three merits and that was the best they could have done, I'm gonna say, you know what? You're brilliant, the job's yours. So a little bit about the logistics of the salary. Could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, certainly. Um, we're based in Abingdon, um, so firstly, you need to be able to commute to Central Abingdon. Um, I think both myself and fellow director Mike, who is a qualified teacher, we are a big believer in learning and development. And we believe that actually the learning doesn't stop when they leave the college, but we want to focus on growing and helping this individual to almost become the finished article as such over a period of time. So you need to be able to get to Central Abingdon, whether that's via public transport or car or, or however else is fine. I would certainly recommend to any individual, if you're able to learn to drive, 
do it because it's going to open up more opportunities. In terms of salary, um, I'm a very, very big believer in actually I'm going to pay you what you're worth. So when you're leaving college, you could expect to be on a salary that would consist of a basic, which could be anything from an apprentice wage to potentially 12, 14, 16,000 pounds a year with added bonus and commission on top of that. So how you would be targeted would be via KPIs. So that could be via the amount of clients that you've spoken to, the amount of candidates you've interviewed, or that could be via the amount of jobs you've filled. As you start to earn commission, that could potentially double your salary. And as you start to earn more money, that's when you're gonna be starting to get more of a basic salary. To give you an idea in recruitment, you could be on anything from an apprentice wage at day one, but actually I've got friends who have gone from that to 40,000 as a base okay. within five years. That's if you're good. good, you've actually got a career there and you've got a way to have those nice possessions, to be buying the house, to be buying the nice cars. And I think that's important to us. Okay, thank you very much. Absolute pleasure. Thank you.